Hello, I'm Peter Kerwin. We're here at Dell's Data Centre in West London to talk with Robin Hugo about the future of networking. Robin, in five years' time, what will a corporate network look like? How will it operate? The future of networking pivots around the interplay between automation, security and human intervention. Certainly the future will involve more automation, more intelligence in the network. What we want to be able to happen is the network reacts to the workload. The network itself will decide on the configuration based on the demands of the server, of the storage, the traffic flow, the data flow going through the network at that particular time. At the moment we've got a lot of fixed configuration networks. These configs are on there from Monday morning to Friday afternoon, 9 to 5, or 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. What we will see in the future is the network adapting to the traffic flows, adapting to its own environment. A very important part of that is the security side. You don't want a rogue process being introduced into the network that affects the configuration and reduces the bandwidth on the network to legitimate workloads. What are we doing with the network is to make it more adaptable so it's responsive, similar to the way the servers and the storage devices are now in a virtualized environment. The other way to think about this is to reduce workload on the admin, on the people. We want the system to be flexible. The system will actually monitor what's going on and it will adapt itself. It will allow itself to be changed automatically. Operations work is event-driven and labor-intensive. An admin might say, now, I need to do this because of what is happening on the network. In the future, the network will have tools that will automate responses to events. It will change the configuration. It will send alerts. It will raise alarms if something is not happening correctly, if there's possibly a, uh, an attack of some sort on the network. The network will take care of mundane events automatically. And in case the unexpected happen, tools automatically will come in and configure the network to meet the needs to actually take care of the issues that are happening there and then. It takes the load away from the admin, it reduces the labour, it reduces the time the admin needs to spend on actually managing and monitoring the network. And how will wireless networks start to change? We have new products that support BYOD or bring your own device. The customer is then able to have their customers or their contractors come to their premises and using self-registration they can obtain wireless access to the internet so they can browse the internet, they can access their emails, but at the same time they're not allowed anywhere near your corporate network. We've automated the process. You don't need somebody at reception handing out vouchers. You don't need an IT admin or security admin person issuing username and passwords for one day, one hour or for a week for a visitor or contractor coming to you. It's a fully managed system. You have full information available from that registration process. You know who has wireless access. You know their name, you know their mobile telephone number, their email, whatever you require in the system for the customer to do the self-registration. In all of this, it's important to remember that security must dovetail with automation. You don't want a rogue process affecting your network. You don't want someone coming in using your network illegally. There will be a need for security alongside automated control. Checks and balances will be required. And almost certainly, at this point, human intervention is necessary. This is one of four films on enterprise networking. Thanks for watching.